Hey, what's going on? This is Mike from Detail Kicks. Today, we're checking out the Ultra Boost 21 in the cloud white and solar yellow colorway. Right off the bat, you'll see that this is the boostiest or the Ultra Boost with the most boost ever. They said that they increased the boost by 6% from last year. There are a few key updates to this 21 and let's tackle them one by one. Let's start with the upper. This is a knit which they call Prime Blue. They have worked with Parley of the Oceans in order to make a material which has recycled ocean plastic in them. Adidas has worked with Parley in the past and it's great that they continue the partnership till now. On the toe and the sides, the prime blue material is quite breathable and is very comfortable. Whether you use this for running or casually, breathability is a real plus factor on these ones. Speaking of running, it seems like Adidas is gearing towards making the Ultra Boost an even better performance shoe as it looks like a real running shoe now. This upper feels really good and it doesn't seem to need any laces when used casually. But that would be a different story when you're running. So they placed a plastic TPU cage with white laces to give you a more secure fit while running. I personally rarely run and I use my Ultra Boosts casually so the laces don't do much for me. Underneath the laces, we have the tongue which in this case is just a one-piece construction like other Ultra Boosts before. At the top of the tongue, we have an Adidas logo which is reflective. At the back, we have a plastic yellow heel counter with the Ultra Boost text on the lateral side. Looking inside the sneaker, we have some pads at the Achilles to provide support and we have a pretty flimsy insole. On this one, we have a yellow insole with a text reading Prime Blue made with Parley Ocean Plastic. Now, let's go to the main attraction which is the Boost Midsole. Now that this has 6% more boost, this should be the most comfortable boost shoe ever, right? Unfortunately not. I was so surprised when I wore these because they were not as squishy as the past Ultra Boosts. I guess they packed the boost pellets tighter which is why we lost some of that trademarked squishiness. Now moving to the outsole. We still have continental rubber and the old torsion system has been replaced by the Adidas LEP which stands for Linear Energy Push and according to Adidas, this new torsion system provides a 15% increase in forefoot bending stiffness for a more responsive run. So this LEP is supposed to assist you in propelling you forward. For the fit, I recommend going true to size. I have wide feet and true to size seems to be a good fit. But of course, if you have the capability to go in store and fit it for yourself, please do so to make sure that the fit is right for you. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. This is Mike signing off. Till next time.